Hey everyone, Kahadu here. So I've just completed, well, after tonight, I will have completed five days of no fruit. I admit on the first day I had two nectarines, but come, you know, breakfast tomorrow, it will be five days in total. So the reason I did this was probably to, you know, debunk the myth that fruit is giving people bad skin or, you know, making people fat or whatever. I love fruit, you know, I thrive on fruit and I'm going back to eating fruit from tomorrow. Five days was long enough and for this to probably work, I probably would have needed to do it longer, but I just, I can't live without fruit. So even if it is fruit, which, you know, I doubt it is that's, you know, causing these breakouts that I've had off and on for the past two years, I don't care, you know, I'm going back to eating fruit. I'm going to try, you know, all fruit for a while and see how that goes you know if I madly break out then yeah maybe I'm just a little bit sensitive to one fruit in particular and I could mix it up or try something else and ironically enough I went raw for the first time two years ago come tomorrow on Australia Day so it's pretty symbolic now the reason why my skin broke out is it because of fruit is it because you know I changed up my diet and I'm still detoxing who knows and this is a bit of a self-indulgent kind of post you know, I'm really wanting to do more vegan activism and talk about, you know, animal rights issues and stuff like that and kind of steer away from the whole diet thing just because, you know, there's so many people talking about that stuff and it's usually coming across, you know, from like a weight loss sense and all these kind of, you know, plant-based people coming into veganism for weight loss and, you know, personal image and stuff like that. And yes, you know, skin is a very personal thing, but, you know, I had a bit of a kind of, oh, poor me, you know, I really want to fix this and that's why I, like, did this experiment. But now I'm like... You know, I, I, you know, I'm not perfect and I'm probably, you know, going to have those days where I wish I had perfect skin. You know, coming from, you know, my background of being a lifelong vegan, you know, and have never eaten meat or dairy and, you know, consider myself pretty healthy. It's a bit frustrating, you know, when you're trying to, you know, be an activist for veganism and you've got, you know, things going on like this. It doesn't, in my eyes, you know, sit so well with people looking upon, you know, you being, you know, a poster girl for veganism you know you want to be glowing you want to be perfect you want to have the perfect body but you know it's life and shit happens and you just have to deal with it you know you can be a victim or you can just stay strong and positive and you know charge your head anyway so I had a bit of a victim mentality and I tried this no fruit thing because lots of people have been saying you know oh hey you know cut out you know sweet fruit and it cleared up you know issues that I had so I basically did it in the hopes that it wouldn't clear up anything because I wanted to, you know, prove those people wrong and, you know, be okay with eating fruit, which I am going to do anyway. So my experience eating no fruit was horrible. You know, I was tired. I had no energy. I was grumpy. I had really bad gas. I did starch solution before, just over a year ago now in Northern Ireland, but I was drinking juice and, you know, whatever sweet fruit I could get. So I wasn't, you know, completely depriving myself of it like I have for the past five days. But yeah, my experience has been pretty crap and, you know, my skin started to clear up like on day one and two and then it went bad again. You know, I got new breakouts and I know I should have done this longer to fully, you know, see how it would work out. But, you know, I started getting stuff up here and my skin was really oily. The only thing I can say is that I did incorporate more fat into my diet. I was eating half an avocado a day over this, you know, four of the five days. Usually I don't eat that much, you know, I'm not too worried about that stuff, but... It does make me, yeah, feel, you know, sleepy and slows me down a little bit. I have eaten a bit of junk food, you know, leading up to Christmas and the New Year. I had someone up here visiting me and we went to vegan restaurants and stuff. But since they left, yeah, I went back to, you know, my usual, like, raw till four, high carb, low fat thing. And the reason I do this isn't because of, you know, weight loss or I've got, you know, some eating disorder problem and, you know, I need to restrict certain foods. This started for me over two years ago as a bit of, like, a vegan, you know, activism experiment you know I wanted to see what it was like to cut out those you know certain junky type food foods from my diet in order to put myself in the shoes of someone that was having to give up meat and dairy and all that stuff that they do when they come to the vegan lifestyle and when I did this it stuck you know I can't go back to eating how I used to I didn't eat you know poorly growing up it was very much the same you know whole foods high carb before all this you know those vegan alternatives came into play but yeah, when I go out and stuff, like it's, yeah, oh yum, this is nice, but yeah, the next day I don't feel so crash hot. So I'm a bit pissed off at, you know, some of these vegan people at the moment that are saying, you know, you're not an ordinary vegan if you're not, you know, having olive oil or eating junk food. You, know, you can do whatever the fuck you want as a vegan. And obviously, you know, feeling your best and having enough energy and being healthy to be, you know, like an activist full of energy and life and able to do these things, not being sick all the time, is highly important. 
so yeah, the skin thing isn't really related to much in particular. As I said, it's a bit self-indulgent, but you know, I kind of felt, you know, I needed to have, you know, clear glowing skin in order to tell people, that, yes, you know, I'm vegan. I've been vegan from birth. And they kind of look at you and they're like, oh yeah, but look at her skin, like, you know, that, that, that can't be good, it must be, you know, all that vegan food or it's all that fruit. So it's been a little bit, you know, <laughs> disheartening or I've, you know, found it, you know, a little bit embarrassing and I've wanted to really fix this. So yeah, I'm going to try this fruit thing and I'll keep you updated how that goes, but in terms of cutting out fruit, it was fucked, literally. No fruit is fucked. So I'll show you some of the, you know, meals I eat and yeah, they look tasty, but you try, you know, eating starchy foods for breakfast, lunch and dinner. I don't think I've ever done that in my life before. You know, maybe on like a hungover, you know, morning after a big night drinking. Even then I probably still would have eaten a fruit because it's the most hydrating and just so good. I'm just going to dream about fruit. So yeah, thanks so much for watching, you know, this update, you know, diet rant thing. I want to be focusing back in on making more vegan activist related videos and also focusing in on yoga videos. So I've got something, you know, coming up soon. So stay tuned. Check out, you know, recipes and stuff like that that I've been posting. I will be back on here more regularly from now on. So give us a thumbs up if you like. Share any comments or experiences you've had with fruit, no fruit. But basically, fruit is the fucking bomb. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace out. And don't forget, if you're not already, go vegan. Why the